Lovely afternoon. Hello everybody. I am skiving from the workshop. I'm not actually skiving. I've done a decent amount of work today. I wanted to get out on the derrick and go for a little ride, but I also thought I'm going to make a video. It's, now I'm called this EDC, you know, as in everyday carry, but the things I'm going to be talking about aren't necessarily everyday carry, but it kind of makes more sense to call it that. So what this basically is, is a list of things that I could just can't do without. I've used them massively over the few past few years and I just if they broke, I would replace them tomorrow with the same thing. In some instances, in some, some other instances, there are other options, but let's get on with it. So the number one, because it is a product which I have used every day for years and years, is these. Well, not exactly these, but Rock Kevlar jeans. I have been using Rock Kevlar jeans for years and years and years. I wear them, and I'll be honest with you, every single day. I have a couple of pairs that I alternate between. So I have worn them constantly. I have worked in them. So I use them in the workshop because I feel like, well, they've got Kevlar in them. It's gonna do more than a normal pair of jeans. They're not sold as work jeans or anything like that, but you know, they have just held up just so well for so long. And they're dirt cheap when it comes to uh, Kevlar jeans. Now, I will be completely honest here. I do have an affiliate with them in the sense that because I like them and I use them and I suggest them to you, I will get a kickback if you buy them using the 5% discount code in my description. But the only way that they got sort of to that position was because I loved the things so much. Side note on the rock jeans, and this might not be particularly new because my last pair are pretty old, um, but I got sent a new pair. This is the hip armor from the old ones, this is the hip armor from the new ones, and this is much more comfortable. Um, so it's just worth noting that the new ones have this, it would seem, rather than these old things, which um, weren't great, but they worked. Much nicer. The cut of them is just perfect for me. They're just a really nice pair of jeans, and they're a lot cheaper than the alternatives. So that's kind of my number one, because I just wear them constantly. Number two on my list of things, by the way, there are five. Uh, for something that I use every time I ride, if I'm not vlogging, I'm using this other device, and that's my Cena 30K. Basically, it is a Bluetooth headset which gives you the ability to listen to music, use it as an intercom. Uh, if me and Reno are riding together, it is invaluable for, for us to get through traffic together, to be able to look out for each other and stuff like that. Seriously, Bluetooth headsets are the shiz. Uh, and also for listening to music. Now, whether you agree with listening to music while riding or not, that's your decision to make. I love it personally, and I don't ever find that it is distracting. I just think it adds to the ride massively. <laughs> and if the battery dies on this, I'm instantly like, oh, well, I guess I'm gonna vlog instead then. <laughs> I like to be doing things while I'm riding. Sometimes I like to just, you know, not do anything at all, but then I like to listen to music while I'm doing that anyway. It, it, music always fits. Number three on my list is the Krieger R25 backpack, and I actually have it on because I always have it on when I ride normally, because I don't have a lot of storage, especially on this thing. The Krieger R25 backpack, okay, is not cheap, but I've had this thing, and I'm not kidding now, oh, nine years, it's been through some crashes, yeah, the stitching's starting to pull on the corners a little bit, but I have filled this with 30 kilos of steel and stuff. The fact that you can open it out wide so you can get your arms in it, the fact that it does up across your chest so the weight goes in your chest rather than your shoulders, and the fact that you can fit so much stuff in this for the size of it. The R25 backpack is the best bike backpack that has ever been made, in my opinion. I said it years ago and I still stand by it. It's bloody brilliant. And as I say, this thing... I bought it eight years ago and it's still going very strongly and I've thought about replacing it and just been like why there's nothing wrong with this one and it's it's my old favorite it's my lucky bag I can't do without this thing if it ever gets a tear in it which I'm surprised it hasn't by now as I said I've shoved sprockets and god knows what in there and it just takes it if I ever want to clean it I'll just chuck it in a bath with some warm water and some uh, detergent you know slosh it around a bit chuck it up to dry and that's all I've ever done. So if you're after a daily backpack, that is the one that you want. Yes, they are expensive, but trust me, they are so worth it. 
Okay, so product number four, and it really doesn't matter where you get this from. Oh, these people are going so slowly. Let's have a little mess around around here. Um, heated grips. Now, I don't have any on this bike, but I used to be kind of like, oh, you don't need heated grips in the UK, and I would just deal with cold hands. And yes, you can do that. And many of you will say, yeah, I'm still willing to do that. I'm not a puss like you. Um, yeah. One day though, you're gonna try some heated grips and you're just gonna be like, oh my God, this makes such a difference in cold weather. Wearing the same gear all year as I do. I mean, I'll wear these gloves during the winter. They're summer gloves. Um, by the way, you can also get these from uh, the riderteam.com. Same place you get the rock jeans, 5% off. These are only like 30 quid and I've been using them for over a year now and I bloody love them. I've got some Knox Handroid 200 quid gloves and I don't use them because these are just so much well, not better in the crash protection sense, but just usable. I bloody love them. On the motorway, when it's really cold, it just, it really does make all the difference. I mean, you could go with heated gloves, because then you get the heated elements on the tops of your fingers, because you do get that on the coldest days. Your, your inside of your hand will be nice and warm, but the outside will be a bit cold. On those days, I use big puffy gloves, and I find that the airspace inside the gloves fills up with warm air, and they keep my hands warm. And as long as that's okay i don't really care about everything else so much and lastly number five something that i don't want to ever use but on the instances that i have needed it oh my god i love the thing is the um lextech jumper starter pack now obviously you can get any of the jumper starter packs they'll be as good as each other and the same with the headsets actually you can get different more uprated and different brands but i have found that the scene is the, the best that i've used so far but back to the one we're talking about, those jumper packs, the portable like battery packs that allow you to charge your phone if you need to, um, and also gives you the ability to jump start a bike. My God, it saved my butt. Like when, like you get, you know that time when your battery dies in the middle of winter or something, and you, and it keeps dying. Well, you can just charge that up, boost the bike off it to start it, go off and do your stuff, and you can still use your bike while your battery's dead, basically rather than having to wait for the new one to arrive. Yes, it's a pain in the butt, but if you have a breakdown anywhere or you're with somebody who breaks down, to be able to have basically a jumper pack in your pocket is amazing. They can even start cars. I don't know about exactly how big a car, but they can start cars. So there you go, there is my top five. As I say, they're not necessarily EDC exactly, but they are things that I've had and used so much now that they have become a staple part of my gear and something I cannot do without. I mean, okay, yeah, as I say, like with the scene, maybe I'll go for a different model at some point, but the device, as in a Bluetooth device to allow me to do those things, has become essential to me. Of course, another essential is the beef keychain, which gives you all the beef you need. Every bike can do with some extra beef. <laughs> I hope you found that interesting or useful in some way. Most of those products I actually have a video on, so I can link those in the description, and you can have a look at those if you're interested in any individual thing. Um, I'll be linking my gear video, so that'll be all of my gear, but you'll see the stuff about the rock jeans within there. If there's any other things like this you'd like me to do videos on, let me know. Subscribe to the channel, so if you feel like supporting it, you can join my Patreon, or you can even go to the Spicy 110 Metalworks. I'm a metal artist that makes clocks from used motorcycle parts, and I even do uh, commissions now where you can send me your parts and I can make you a clock. So check the description out for that information. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye. And don't forget, everyone needs more beef.